the main reason the school has decided to bring in the service dogs? Well, we're, we're really working hard to make sure that Eastern Hancock is the kind of place that, that people want to be. Um, you know, just like you, a lot of people like having a dog at home. Um, we've had the same experience at school. And if I don't know if you've stood beside me or Mrs. Engel King when Rosie's hanging out in the hallway, but um, when that happens, we've got kids smiling and, and stopping to see us. And, and anything that brings a smile on somebody's face is good, and we want to do more of those kind of things. Will the school have more than two service dogs in the building? We have several teachers who have dogs that w might be interested in bringing their dog to school, and um, some of them are, are um, they have their dogs in training right now. Um, so it really depends, um, you know. And depending on who the staff member is and what their job is, some some jobs at Eastern Hancock lend themselves to maybe having a dog with them, and and others uh, not as much. But um, but we'll we'll see how it ends up going and uh, see which dogs end up meeting the criteria. How are the dogs doing in their training to become therapy dogs? They're doing great. Uh, Rosie and Dirks are both doing training with Custom Canine Companion in Hancock County. Um, they each go once a week. Um, Tuesday nights right now, both of the dogs just got moved to the more advanced class, and they do off-leash training for an hour a week. What type of training do the dogs have to have? So in order to come to school, um, we would like the dogs to first receive their um, – Canine Good Citizen Certificate, um, and th that just means that they meet just basic criteria for um, uh, they, they listen to their owner. Um, and then also, uh, once they get that, then, then they're eligible to start logging hours for their therapy dog certificate, and you have to log so many visits, and, uh, and once you log so many visits, then you can go to a, a have, have the dog take a separate test and then earn their therapy dog certificate. So, um, so at Eastern Hancock, we would like our dogs to either have that certificate for being a therapy dog or be, show us that they're in the progress process to be uh, working towards that. Does the school pay for the training or do you pay? Uh, I pay as the owner of the dog um, to, to have the dog trained. Um, we pay per week that we take the dog to, to class. and then. Um, but the owners of the place where we take our dogs um, have also volunteered to come here to train other people other than the owners on how to uh, give the dogs the commands. Um, and they've even worked with a couple of our students here at Eastern Hancock. So we, we really appreciate them taking time to do that. And, um, but other than that, we pay for the training for our dogs. If the dogs don't pass the training, will the school go out and buy service dogs, or will the school just not have them in the building? So we're pretty confident, just based on the progress the dogs have made, that, that we're going to have licensed therapy dogs. Um, so I don't think that's, a, that's an issue that we've got to worry a whole lot about. With having the dogs in the building, will you think it will cause a problem with students wanting to get out of class just to come see the dogs? We s certainly hope not. Um, you know, the goal of having ther therapy dogs at school is, is just to make Eastern Hancock the kind of place that kids want to be. Um, but if we do have issues that we run into, um, we'll make adjustments along the way. But, but so far, uh, you know, Rosie and Dirks have been coming to school for several months, and I have not heard any concerns about kids sneaking out of class to go pet a dog. Um, so hopefully that continues. Where do the dogs stay at when they're at school? So Rosie stays with Mrs. Ingle King most of the time when she's here, um, and sometimes she hangs out in my office if she needs a break. Uh, Dirks mostly hangs out with Mr. Barton, um, and then both dogs uh, go visit several classrooms around Eastern Hancock, um, depending on uh, teacher requests, and, and teachers can request for either dog to come visit them. Um, you know, whenever they, they are ready uh, to do that. Obviously, we are, are as mindful as we can about kids who might be afraid of dogs or have allergies or, or parents who have concerns, but I think we've done a really good job of, of being as proactive as possible about that so far. What is your name? Rosie. Mr. Brother Eli calls me Rosie the Royal. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a girl dog. How old are you? I turned one year old on March 6th. What is your favorite toy? I have a whole bunch of toys, and I love them all. I really love to play fetch. What is your favorite snack? I don't eat a bunch of snacks, but I like my dog food and puppy treats. I don't eat the people food. What is your favorite thing to do? I love to come to school. Getting lots of pets and visiting kids is my favorite thing. I also like to play fetch and tug. 
Does Mr. Philhauer ever snore in his sleep? Never. Do you like your owner? I love my owner. 